Well, I think any cook loves to hear that's delicious, but it means a lot more when the food is actually horrific. It's a dead body, it's a lung, maybe a roadkill rats. I'm Janice Poon, and I'm the food stylist you come to if you want a grizzly little something for your table. What have I done? Roasted legs, Peking style whole bodies, edible insects, tiny organs for dead rats, edible snails, oh, space whales, raw, of course. Janice can cook up a mean severed head, but she's pretty much a jack of all trades. Just how many jobs have you had, Janice? First, I was an art director in that agency, then I'll caterer, a cookbook author, a graphic novelist, a sculptor, then a miniaturist, couturier, and uh, writing. Did I forget anything? Now back to the juicy stuff. Oh, I love the reading part of the creative process. Lay back on the sofa. I read as much as possible. I just do a quick sketch to communicate to everybody the look I'm going for and narrow the field. The kitchen is really where the sorrow begins. That's where everything that you thought was going to work out great doesn't. And that is where you really start to think, well, now what am I going to do? No, it's kind of yummy. Nothing like a little raw hamburger to get you going. <laughs> Hang on. Did she just eat raw meat? As a food stylist, I get all kinds of requests from actors who have dietary restrictions. I didn't expect, however, to get one from a vampire queen who wouldn't eat meat. What I used was essentially sweet potato. That doesn't look like meat. Hmm, maybe I need something to make it more gummy. I'll put a bunch of glutinous flour in. Well, that's a bit yellow for meat, isn't it? So I'll put in some beets. After a couple minutes of the microwave spinning around, what it needs is a little tiny flex of fat. I use chopped up rice and just plow that stuff in, oil, and that's really going to make it look visceral. Surely that's not edible. It's not just edible, it's delicious. <laughs> Any more tips and tricks? Well, one little food item that we have in a lot of horror movies is um, corn syrup. Corn syrup with food coloring in it to make it look like blood. Uh, buckets and buckets and buckets of this stuff uh, get used for TV shows and you just like pour it on and lick it off. I would say the duct tape of food styling is oil because a little slick of oil is going to make anything look as if it's just freshly cooked or it's just juicy and delicious. Well, fake mold, if you want it to be edible, you have to use uh, Dutch processed cocoa, which is a black powder, spirulina powder, icing sugar, and white food coloring. You can dust them on your food, and it'll look just like mold. Furry, but yummy. Sometimes I use toothpaste, because it comes in a tube, and you just throw it in your bag, and boop, 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 and that's little blobs of mold. But people don't like to eat a lot of toothpaste, so there you go. Some of Janice's most gruesome dishes feature in the TV show Hannibal. When I looked at the first Hannibal script, I thought, wow, these people are crazy. Mads was the most adventurous. He was kind of annoyed with me. The first day when I didn't serve up real lung, real brain, and real liver. But then I knew he was going to be an adventurous eater, so it all cut loose from there. Our final scene was to be Bedelia's dining on her own leg. The leg was the old go-to pork. It had a marrow bone at the thigh end and a lamb shank at the ankle end. I felt I had to apologize to Jillian. And I said, Jillian, I'm sorry I made the leg so big. But if I had made it the size of your leg, it wouldn't have looked as impressive. She did say, oh, that's beautiful, which is what you really want. She didn't say, oh, my leg looks good. <laughs> Any final words of wisdom, Janice? Part of storytelling, of course, is that tension, especially with horror, where so many of the characters are psychically there on a knife's edge. You want your food to be on a knife's edge too. You want it to teeter. Is it horrible? Is it delicious? No, it's horrible and delicious. <laughs> <laughs>